Hey there guys, Sapphire Phoenix here and we are back playing some Roma Serectum 2 and as you can see something is a little off. Um, we used to have Olympia, Argos and Corinthos under our control at the last episode. However, we are back to only Sparta and the reason for this is because I have downloaded and installed the version 2.5 of Roma Serectum 2 that came out in September this year. A few people actually told me, why aren't you playing on 2.5? It's the latest version. It's got the um, latest fixes and things like that. Um, so I decided that since we were only two episodes into the fir in, into the old version, and since we'd only played for two hours, and pretty much an hour and a half of those two hours was just me fighting a couple of battles, um, I decided that, you know, it might be it's, it's not going to be have too much of an effect if we go back to the beginning and start again in a new version of the game. So that's what we're doing, um, which means that we get, we're get we probably going to get a whole load more battles <laughs> in this game as well. Um, See, so yeah, I don't really know exactly what version 2.5 has as far as I can tell at the moment. It's not really got that much any, anything different. Um, let's see if we can talk to Greece. No, we can't. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, it doesn't appear to be yes. that much difference, yes. but I haven't really been playing this. I've only just this is actually the first time I've played the new version, so um, I have no idea what else is new. Um, hello, Macedon. Ah, oh, they can't really. Oh, never mind. So. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're just basically starting from the beginning. Nothing really that bad about it. Let's see if there's any different units to recruit or anything. No, it looks like it's probably it was probably just fixes or something, or maybe new designs. Oh, there's a new tribal justice picture. There's there's new pictures. That's quite cool. Um, also, when you start up the game, there's also oh, there's a lot of new pictures. When you start up the game, there's um, new. There's a new intro to the whole mod, which is a pretty good intro, I have to admit. So you might be worth, might be worth you guys watching that when you get it. Um, and hopefully you saw my tutorial on how to download and install version 2.5. That was uploaded on Sunday. So if you didn't see that, um, I suggest you go and watch that if you want to play this. Um, it's got, it's pretty much following the instructions on mod DB word for word. So. Um, Hopefully there's not going to be too many mistakes involved. Um, I seem to be playing this okay. It doesn't seem to be, well, famous last words. But it doesn't seem to have been damaged at all. Or, you know, affected or anything like that. So, what we're going to do... Oh, he's... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Basileus appears to be quite an old gentleman. 54. And this gentleman is 33. And this guy is 22. So, I think we're going to give the army to the 33 year old so let's see what has he got right, let's just get let's do what we did in the first episode we're gonna split our forces by the way we're not I'm not gonna be doing an hour long episode um, this is it's all gonna be 20 to 30 minutes long as normal so I'm actually just gonna check my audio settings so it's all gonna be um, let's put that down to 80 uh, yeah, it's all going to be pretty much. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh yeah, pretty much 20 minutes to 30 minutes. This is this isn't a special video or anything like the first episode because we're not technically starting a brand new series. Um, all I've done is I've basically restarted it. Um, I've not start. I've not. Um, I've not. You know, cancelled the Spartan faction and then chosen a new one. So we're not going to be restart. We're not. This isn't going to be a special or anything. Also got a couple of archers, and I'm actually going to head over, head round to Argos first. Um, <coughs> excuse me again. Oh, don't know where this cough's come from. The reason for this is because Greece is right there. Or maybe should, we should go for a Greek. I might actually go for a Greek town. If we get hit that Greek town, that's got no defenses on it at all. Corinthos has no defense. If I take that, that has basically blocked this pass here, which is going to be a mega, mega bonus. So, yeah, we're going to go for Corinthos first. So, uh, let's see, get some spearmen, uh, some, sorry, some uh, Peltast units. What cavalry we got? we got some cavalry. Let's throw some cavalry in there. We've got three spaces left, so, well, we've got some heavy units here, so... 
we're going to take two swordsmen. Sorry, we're going to take one swordsman, one phalanx, and we'll take heavy cavalry. And then we're going to head round, and we're going to besiege Corinthos. And I will attack them in a minute. I want to um, just finish off a few things around here. That looks all good. Don't really want Tarantine cavalry. However, I am going to keep hold of them for the time being as a as a part of a garrison. And we are going to attack Corinthos. So let's see: is Peltas, Phalangi Phalangites, and more Phalangites, cavalry, Hopolites. It's a pretty good, pretty good army. Pretty decent army for defending. Two and a half thousand men. I've got um, nearly three thousand eight hundred. All right. Let's see if we can take our first settlement within the first few, first couple of episodes. So yeah, if any of you are a little bit annoyed about the whole restart of the series, I do apologise. But um, what I want to consider, what I'm considering the first two episodes as, are almost like induction episodes. So um, episodes that get you guys more into the mod. You know, you get to see what the mod is about what you can expect in it and things like that so ooh, are these new design newly designed or is that just me being silly I think it's just me being silly um, and as you can see as well I've got <coughs> all the same settings on so unit size is huge grass is off um, pretty much all the graphics are on high I think um, let's have a look yeah pretty much all of them um, we're going actually I'm going to reduce vegetation to medium and terrain we'll put onto medium, so that'll just reload reload the picture. Hopefully, that will reduce any frame rate drops, uh, frame rate loss we have by a little bit. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. That's much better. Let's feel that. See, fantastic. Right, perfect. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to put my Cretan. Sorry, actually, I'm going to bring my hoplites back a little bit. Put my Cretan archers, or my Spartan archers, sorry, Cretan archers, Spartan archers in front of my hoplites here. Like so. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my spearmen, these spearmen, onto the flank over here. Put a slinging unit in front. And then I've got um, these guys on my flank over here. Put a sling unit in front of them. We'll put another one, another sling unit just behind these guys. Why not? Actually, no, we'll keep them in reserve. Right, we're going to put some. Javelins behind each one. And then we've got my cavalry. And my general. Well, the general looks different. Or is that me being silly again? Could be me being silly again. I can't even remember. I didn't. I haven't played Spartan enough to remember these things. <coughs> okay. What I haven't done is I haven't grouped my army. What have I? What am I doing? Group one. Group two. Group three. Group four. Five. Actually, we'll make them group six. Make my Peltas group five. My cavalry can stay independent. Okay, so what are we going to do? What have we got over here? We have... Oh, I've got the camera restricted. There we go. So what have we got here? We have some Archaean... Archaean Hoplites and some Hoplites of Corinth. On our left, we have the Phalangites... 
the Archaean and the Archaean Elite, plus the gen <coughs> excuse me, plus the general, plus some heavy cavalry, and then down the centre we have some more Archaean hoplites. We also have some heavy cavalry as well. And what's this over here? They look like the Peltast unit, the light infantry unit. That's good. Fine, right, let's do this. Can my Spartan archers shoot anyone? They can shoot the general. Fantastic. Right, actually, I'm going to get this unit to shoot the Archaean Phalangites. These guys can shoot the general. And we'll see where they move. We've got some infantry on the move over here. Enemy infantry on the move. Pull my archers back behind the line. Cavalry, enemy cavalry is moving on the flank. So let's move my Tarantine cavalry to intercept. Or to sort of deal some damage over here. Thankfully, my slingers are doing a pretty good job at dealing with them. Let's get my cavalry in there. We're going to put skirmish mode on as well. So they <coughs> run away if they get attacked. Right, my cavalry can deal with that. Okay, my men are engaged, so let's put my slingers behind over here. And we're actually going to move this group up over here with their javelin units and reserve. And we're going to move my cavalry, my heavy cavalry, and my light cavalry over here as well to protect their flank. So how's that cavalry doing over there? Pretty much dead. Okay, so they're screwed. Fantastic. So that's one heavy cavalry unit dealt with. So we are 0% for 9%. Fantastic. We are not apparently taking that many casualties, which is excellent. these archers over on this flank over here. Let's put these uh, phalanx into phalanx formation. <laughs> Let's just check my flanks. There's no enemy units down here, is there? Nope. None at all. So now we just need to think of a way to break through their enemy lines. Alright, let's move this group up. Slingers, you may want to move. <coughs> Oops, I just hit, sorry about that. Hit just hit my mic. Oh, they're actually coming after my slingers. Intercept. Okay, we got enemy phalanx moving in. So we're actually going to move ours forwards as well. And our archers as well. So these hoplites of Corinth are still pushing through my men, but my men are holding their ground and beating them back. So that's a good sign. I'm going to move my Peltas over here to deal with these phalanx as well. We're going to actually form these spearmen into a square formation. They can move through that gap 
faster and easier. <coughs> I'm actually going to bring my slingers round to there. Tarantine cavalry can move up. They can auto fire against these spearmen over here. Let's actually move these peltas over here as well. See, uh, I'm gonna form my slingers up here. Shoot these Corinthian, uh, Corinthian hoplites in the back. Get my archers to, <coughs> excuse me, shoot those phalanx. Slingers, okay, and hoplites. Get my spearmen ready to mount a charge. These spearmen aren't under attack yet, so we're actually going to move them up as well. And we're going to hit uh, these phalanx from the side. Actually, we're going to probably need to reinforce that section in a second, so just turn them around to face that way instead. Get my archers to stop shooting there because we are at risk of shooting on my own men. So we're going to get them to shoot the, uh, the elite Archaean units. Actually, my slingers seem to be doing a pretty good job there. So we're going to leave them to it. Right, let's move these guys up a bit further. We're actually going to send my cavalry round somewhere. Where should we move them? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can't move them to the centre. They got spear units there. We got heavy cavalry. We got spears. Spears. Oh, we dealt a lot of damage to those elite um, elite units there. There's a lot of them dead. Right, let's move my archers up over here. That unit's apparently routing. Doesn't really look like they're routing. It looks like they're standing still at the moment. Oh, okay, there we go. And now the Hoplites of Corinth are doing the same. Fantastic. When you say that. Oh, my spearmen. What are they doing out here? Oh, <coughs> I see what they did. They finished off them. So let's move them over here. We're going to move this unit there. This unit can move up to here. These two units can move up over here. What is going on over there? Heavy cavalry, 121 heavy cavalry. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Right, where's, where's... Oh, these archers haven't been moved yet. What am I doing? God. Let's move them over here, then. Shoot the general. Archers can hold fire, really. There's not really the, they're just going to do more damage than good. Right, let's move some spearmen up. Right, we're going to move these guys here. Put 
put some units behind them as well. Plus the javelins. And slingers on the flank. my general over here 